Why does the toe box matter in a running shoe? Hey guys, it's JP, and you have probably heard people say things like, you should get a shoe with a wide toe box. But what does this even mean, and why does this even matter? So this time, we're gonna talk about what the toe box is, and why this matters when finding the right running shoe for you. Now, let's get into the video. Let's describe what the toe box is. It basically refers to the width of this region of the shoe. A narrow toe box will have relatively less space in this region compared to a wide toe box shoe. If you have been shopping around for running shoes in the recent years, you may have noticed more shoes that involve a wider toe box. These kind of shoes have been getting more popular lately, and it's not because people's feet have been getting wider and wider through the recent years. Besides considering how wide your foot actually is, there is a number of other reasons for the rise of wider toe box shoes. From a functional standpoint, a wider toe box can allow for the foot to better absorb the impact on it in running. As I had mentioned before, there's a lot of forces involved as you run. A popular number thrown around is that it can involve two to three times your body weight. But to be honest, this could actually be more depending on what you are specifically measuring and how you are running. Now, what the foot does to help deal with these kind of forces is that it spreads. By creating a greater surface area, this allows the foot to better absorb the forces placed on the foot as it hits the ground. If you restrict this kind of movement, this may put increased pressure on certain aspects of the foot. Now from a comfort standpoint, a shoe with a wider toe box may be great for someone who has increased pain or irritability around the big toe. Or if someone has, let's say, a bunion. Because the toes may curve inward like so, this actually increases the width of the foot, therefore a wider toe box may be needed to accommodate for that. However, what I do want to mention is that this type of movement may be due to stiffness around the big toe. If you do not have adequate big toe mobility, the toe may compensate for that motion by moving inward rather than upward. So in these cases, while getting a shoe with a wider toe box may be helpful, I do recommend big toe mobility exercises. Now as you guys know, I like to look at both sides of the topic. While having a wider toe box can be great for many runners, it is important to consider when it may not be as beneficial. While a wider toe box may be helpful for running, especially for longer runs, it might not be as beneficial for short, fast runs like sprints. You might actually notice this with the shoes geared towards sprinting. You may notice a bit of a narrower toe box compared to the shoes geared towards longer distances. As I mentioned before, the foot naturally spreads when the foot hits the ground as you run. This serves to help the foot absorb the high amounts of force placed on it during running. However, this comes at a cost. Allowing the foot to spread takes time. By having a more narrow toe box that restricts this movement, this may allow you to transition through the running cycle faster and take quicker steps, which ultimately results in running faster. However, again, I'd only recommend this for short distances and not long distance races. And that's some insight on why the toe box of a running shoe matters. I hope you found this useful. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you shared this with another runner or coach that would enjoy this too. And as always, Thank you for watching.